So I'm going to run through a few stretches for low body. This would be good for joggers, for all, anyone in general, just with tight hamstrings, uh, hips. Ideally, free bricks would be handy if you've got them, or you could use some books, uh, anything underneath to kind of just raise the floor up a bit if you've got tight hamstrings. So whenever you're ready, grab a hold of your props. We'll come onto the mat. I'm going to start off with, first of all, a calf stretch. I'm going to grab our brick, pop it at the front of our mat, grab a hold of the other two bricks. We'll bring the right foot onto the brick, so the ball of the foot is on the brick, the heel's on the floor. And then first of all, we'll just square the hips off, feel like the right thigh bone is drawing up into the right hip, left hip drawing forwards. And then we're just going to bring the bricks outside of the foot. And if it feels all right for you, maybe take the foot a bit higher onto the brick, just a bit more elevated. This stretch can also be done against the wall. And we're trying to fold over this front leg. So for me, this feels quite comfortable. I'll probably go a bit lower on the bricks. Maybe a bit lower still. We're gonna hold each stretch for a minute. So ideally this right leg is straight. Feel like you're gently pressing the right heel into the floor and you're keeping the hips square. You might be getting a bit of a stretch into the hamstrings too. Halfway through, 30 seconds to go. Keep actively trying to square the hips off. And then if you feel you're kind of relaxing into it, you can maybe bring the palms back to the floor. You can even start to walk the palms behind you, take a bit deeper of a fold. Each inhale, low belly draws away from the thighs. Each exhale, you take it over a bit deeper. And then grabbing a hold of your bricks, bringing yourself back up, maybe shaking out the leg a little. Coming into Warrior Two pose. Right toes are going to face forwards. Left foot, left toes are facing long into the mat, right toes are facing forwards. Feel like the pelvis is gently tucking under, belly button drawing in. Grab a hold of your brick, pop it long ways inside of the shin. And then we're going to take triangle pose, straightening into the right leg. Feel the left hip pushing back, right fingertips reach forwards. Feel like you're reaching, hand comes onto the brick. Left hand can be on low back, looking over the left shoulder towards the ceiling, or left fingertips can be towards the ceiling. Press hand into the brick, try to lift up out of this right side of the body, reach tall through left fingertips. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, open into the body. We're trying to actively press the right foot into the floor. Feel like we're trying to draw the right kneecap up the right thigh. On each exhale, trying to draw the right rib cage through, left rib cage back. Twenty seconds to go. And for you, if you're a bit more open into the hamstrings, the hips, you can go lower. You can go all the way to the floor. Coming back up into your warrior two. Coming into a wide leg fold, which can turn the right toes in. You can take a wider stance for the feet. You can grab a hold of your bricks and then just fold over the thighs. Here we want to feel like the left heel and the right heel are actively drawing towards each other. The toes are facing along into the mat, maybe turning in a little. There's a slight anterior pelvic tilt to the booty slightly sticking out. And then the more you find the legs relaxing into the pose, the more you can fold it over. Maybe bringing hands to the floor. Feel like the weight is over the front of the feet, the balls of the feet. And then just breathing into the back of the thighs, the hamstrings.
20 seconds to go. Deep breathing. And then from here, we're gonna use the hands to walk us forwards back to the front of the mat. The right toes are gonna to face forwards. We're gonna come onto the ball of the back left foot. You can take a wider stance with the feet, maybe bringing the right foot to the outer edges of the mat and taking the left foot a little bit wider, just coming into lizard lunge. The right hands to the inside of the right foot. And we're just breathing into the hips. Hands underneath the floor, just pushing the floor away. You can keep this active by pressing back through the left heel or you can lower the left knee down, whatever feels better for you. Another 45 seconds to go. So the left hip is gently drawing towards the floor. Pelvis is gently tucking under, 10 seconds to go. Grabbing a hold of your bricks. Walking the right foot, just a little bit more towards the center. Coming into half Hanuman or half front splits. From here, we're just gonna send the weight of the hips over the left knee. We're gonna straighten into the right leg. Hands can be on your bricks, chest up tall, long through spine. So here the right toes are pulling back towards us, we're pressing through the right heel. Feel like the right thigh bone is drawing back into the right hip and the left hip is squaring off forwards. Each inhale low belly draws away from right thigh. And each exhale maybe walking the hands a little bit further forwards, trying to maintain length through the spine. Bit more open to the hamstrings, you can get rid of the bricks, walk the fingertips forwards, or keep it up on the bricks. 20 seconds to go. Reset, you can shake out the legs a little. I'm going to turn around just so I'm at the other edge of the mat can you see, you can see me. So brick at the top of the mat, we're going to bring the foot onto the brick and the heels on the floor. We're trying to be square in the hips, left hips drawing back, right hips drawing forwards, pressing into the left heel. Hands coming onto the bricks, just freeing off the left foot. Inhale, lengthen through spine, low belly draws away from the left thigh. As we exhale, I'm just going to fold it over. And working with your breath. The more you find the body relaxing, the lower you can take the hands towards the floor. Trying to be straight in this left leg, probably getting stretched into the left calf, maybe into the left hamstring. Trying to keep the hips square, left hip drawing back, right hip drawing forwards. 40 seconds to go, just breathe into it. Coming up, you can have two bricks each side of the mat. Coming into warrior two. So it's opening up into the fires, taking a wide stance with the feet, trying not to fall over. Left toes face forwards, right toes face long into the mat. Brick can be in the left hand. We're gonna take triangle pose. We're gonna push the left foot into the floor. We're gonna draw the right hip back. Left hand can come inside of the left shin. The right fingertips towards the ceiling. So here we're trying to actively press the left hand into the floor. Lift up out of the left side of the body, reach tall through right fingertips. 
actively still pressing the left foot into the floor, feel like we're trying to draw the left kneecap up the left thigh. And we're trying to open into the hips, reaching tall through right fingertip, and drawing the right rib cage back. You can look towards the left big toe if that feels more comfortable in the neck, 30 seconds to go. You can go lower towards the floor if it feels comfortable. Ten seconds to go. Coming into your forward fold or wide leg forward fold, coming all the way up. Grabbing a hold of some bricks if you need them. So the toes are facing the long edge of the mat or maybe turning in a little. Booty is gently sticking out, anterior pelvic tilt. We're folding over the thighs, hands come to the floor underneath the shoulders. Feel free to go lower. And breathe into it. The weight of the body's over the balls of the feet. Forearms onto the bricks if you want to take it a bit deeper. You can bring forearms onto the floor. Do what feels comfortable. The more comfortable you are, the more relaxed the body will be, the deeper you'll be able to go into the stretch. Here I'm gently rocking back and forth just because it feels nice. And then lizard lunge, we're going to walk the hands forwards, left foot facing the top of the mat, open up the foot stance a little, and then hand or the left hand is inside of the left foot, right hand's underneath right shoulder, we can keep this active by pressing back through the right heel, pardon me if you keep grabbing my watch, you can lower the right hand down, that might allow you just to relax a bit more into it, so it might be more beneficial to do that, but feel free to make it more active if you'd prefer. Again, you can gently rock back and forth, or we'll just find them still on tip. Grab hold of your bricks, walking the left foot just a little bit more to centre. Hands coming onto your bricks. We're going to draw the hips, stack them over the right knee. We're going to straighten into the left leg. Feel like this right hip's drawing forwards, the left hip's drawing back, the left thigh bone drawing up into the left hip. The left toes draw back towards us as we gently press away through the left heel. Inhale, lengthening through spine. Exhale, maybe walking the bricks a little bit further forwards, coming lower down. As you inhale, the lower belly draws away from the left thigh. As you exhale, you fold it over. Jane's starting to make your way up. And 
now do. 